Hey, 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 YouTube family. I feel like we're family now. If you've watched enough of these videos, we're all friends at least. Let's say family. We got a very special Twitch coming up because it marks the debut of Skid as my co-host. Uh, I'll give you a little backstory. We're recording on a Sunday afternoon. We're supposed to play a Pathfinder game that morning. I am uh, GMing the Jade Regent campaign. So I was here with Joe, Skid, and our buddy Tom, and our other buddy Drew. Fell asleep, forgot that we were gaming, and didn't come over. So Joe went home, and Skid stayed with my buddy Tom, and we all twitched together. So the fact that Skid is on this alone makes this one of the best twitches. And there's no Joe. Well, that's not technically true, because Joe goes home, and we summon his character into the game to help us fight Dragon Slayer Armor. A lot of fun battles against that. I die, Joe dies, Joe dies, Joe dies, and then we finally beat it. Uh, and then we go to the Consumed King's Garden and start clearing that out. Did I mention Skid is on this Twitch? Check it out! Happy Sunday, everybody. It's time for a little Twitch. And finally, for the first time, we have a very, very special guest. Skid, say hi to everybody. Oh, hi. I didn't know you were referring to me. Hi. Skid is in the house. Hi. Hi, everybody. And not only is Skid here, but another one of our good buddies, Tom Lockety. Tom, welcome. Hello. Welcome to the Twitch. You're on Twitch as Dr. K. Lighter? No, it's actually Dark Lighter. Yeah. Dark Lighter. Yeah. It's like Big Stark Lighter, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, Luke Skywalker's best friend. I always thought yeah. it was Dr. K. Lighter. Yeah, that's what I thought for a while, too, but... It's a, it's a grand misconception. Yeah. Well, welcome to the Twitch. Now, you might be asking yourself, where's Joe? I don't think anyone's asking that. But if you are, uh, he went home. He took his ball and went home. Basically, we were supposed to have a Pathfinder session today. Uh, we're playing Book 4 of Jade Regent that I'm GMing. And uh, Skid came. Joe came. Our good buddy Tom came to sit in for uh, Matthew's cleric. Who, uh, Matthew, I don't, who knows what Matthew's doing. But he's not here. And uh, Probably in Indiana. Our eleventh. If, if we don't know where he is, he's probably in Indiana. Yeah, when in doubt, he's at a play festival somewhere, yeah. uh, most likely Indiana. And uh, and of course, our eleventh level witch, played by our good buddy Drew, no show. <laughs> so rather than uh, take those lemons and eat them, we're making lemonade by doing a Twitch. <laughs> Skid, welcome. I I, I know Thank you're you. a longtime watcher of the Twitch. Yeah, uh, um, and I love also that you still haven't actually invited me to attend one of these. <laughs> I think we should talk about this on air. I'm only here because you would, I was here for another reason. And right. like, oh, let's just switch. And like, you're here uh, as, as like a last case, a last case scenario. Yeah, this is a... I think we should change that. I think we should replace Joe with you and have you just move into the apartment upstairs. Um, I'd be more than happy with that. All right, let's, I'll talk to the lady up there. I never, I never quite liked her. She has a lot of people over doing a weird transcendental meditation. Uh, and it bothers my cats, all those ohm <laughs> sounds they make. But enough chit chat. Let's get to Ralph. Look at him. He is looking sharp. He looks really uh, cool. It's you know what? It's the helmet. The helmet is what grabs everyone's attention. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at there's uh, oh what Sigurd is... of Katarina and where's he going? Where's he going? He's gone. <laughs> That's some uh, teenager in. Uh, Japan playing right now. <laughs> All right, so Ralph, uh, off air, I leveled him up a little bit. I finally put some points into Vigor so we can have some more hit points. So we're up to 15 Vigor, and I put some more points into Vitality, so we're up to 17 Vitality uh, so we can wear some more equipment. So, so you're not going to get one shot anymore? Well, I'm still going to get one well, shot. It's Dark Souls. Tom, it's me. Uh, I have him wearing Lothric Knight armor, Lothric Knight gauntlets, Lothric Knight leggings. These things are badass, but I did not have enough room to put on the Lothric Knight helmet, so I went with the painted guardian hood, because I think it matches nicely Can with you the see out of that? Can he see out of that thing? I think you can't see in, but he can he see He looks like out. he's walking down the aisle. He really does. Like he's yeah. going to get married. And, and the groom doesn't know what he looks like yeah. to the last second. Yeah. He's hideous! <laughs> I think he's actually pretty handsome. Hello, he quite... Lonesome Joe. Hi, the Dice Nerd. Buddy, uh, how you doing? Death by Fire 222 and Eldereal. Oh, uh, hello everybody. A solid Happy Sunday Father's crew. Day. Yeah. Um, that's what he looks like without the hood. He's got the. Is Sam Ralph a on. dad? Asks Lonesome Joe. Um, uh, I don't know. I think things have been going pretty well with him and Henri of a store. Oh no, she died. Yeah, no, he's not a dad. I think he's afraid of commitment. <laughs> he that's can. That's why he keeps dying. He can barely raise himself, let alone a child. Yeah. Um. I also have a new weapon. I took that uh, sunlight straight sword Ooh. that I found, and I leveled it up to plus four. 
Uh, it levels with Twinkling Titanite, so that's the best I could do without using a Titanite slab to bring it to plus five. But it's pretty sweet. And one of its new functions is you uh, two-hand it, press L2, and he says a prayer to the Sun Bros. Whoa. Whoa. And basically, I think I do, I absorb more damage and do more damage. That's Excellent. That remains to be seen. Uh, all right, we're starting this off with a boss fight. Now, go big or go home. Now, Skid, you don't, uh, you've never played Dark Souls. No, I don't care for the game. Or me. Or you, honestly, but, uh, you know, I'm, what the hell I'm here. What the hell you're here. Now, what is it about Dark Souls that uh, is so off-putting to you? I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's just the, I don't, I'm more into the kind of story-based stuff. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to spend a whole bunch of effort, like, winning at something. Right. You know, I just, I want to experience the story. So I'm just too lazy to enjoy it, honestly. Yeah, and they definitely don't hand-feed you a story in this game. It's no. all very good. And I do, like, now watching you guys play it for a while, like, I'm, I'm getting the appeal. Um, but uh, I, I, I'd still rather watch it than play it, I think. Yeah, uh, you know, you're not alone. This game is definitely not for everybody. It is, most people pick up the game, like Dark Souls 1, and within 10 minutes put it away or throw it out the window. Like, this game is stupid. When I first started playing Dark Souls 1, that's what I said to Joe. I'm like, this game is ridiculous. It yeah. doesn't make any sense. I can't even roll. And he's like, well, you got to up your equipment load, blah, blah, blah. And then you finally get it, and you become obsessed. obsessed. Whoa, right. what is that? That is... What is happening there? That is our goal. There's a boss behind there who I think is being powered by these, what I'm calling moonlight butterflies. So they're giving him his power. Oh. And if you look off in the distance here, see, oh, they're all flying wow. around out there. Oh, that's, that's crazy. Isn't it? Yeah. Like, See, these are, this is one of the reasons why I don't play this game. I'm too scared to install it. That is frightening looking. Right. Like, look at that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. That's my other problem, too, is I'm, I'm too much of a wimp. Anything that's, like, spooky or atmospheric or scary, like, I can't, I can't take it. I can't handle it. Yeah, this is... Uh, and I don't like horror either, but this game scares you when things just jump out and attack you. Yeah, that, I, don't, I don't like jump scares. Or if you just kind of sit back and think, like, what the hell is going on in this land? What are those things? Eldiriel says, love the new podcast. Looking forward to seeing new guests and topics. Thank you. Thanks, Eldiriel. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, uh, hopefully, maybe I'll be around when you're recording one of those for another reason and you'll have me on. Uh, Joe, if you're listening, uh, Skid is put into motion. Please take it under advisement. <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to amber up. And uh, I think if Joe's around, we're going to try and summon him at some point. Uh, just so you can see how terrible of a player he is. Uh, I don't see him anywhere. Ardvark Village sounds pretty cool. All right, I'm going to start by summoning an NPC. Cirrus's sign is finally here, so we can summon her in. Who's that? She is an NPC who, uh, when you first meet, she's a little standoffish. She's like, all right, nice to meet you. Leave me alone. And then you do a good deed for her, and she's like, I will pledge to be your knight. And oh. so now she's like a follower of the School of Ralph. The, the, the Grand Knights of Ralph. King Ralph. And then there's another NPC sign over here, and this is Egon of Kareem. And you meet him early on in the game, and he's guarding this uh, priestess, basically. But he's kind of a dick. He's like, oh, yeah, good luck with that priestess. She's a whore. Don't bother with her. Um, but he's also very protective of her. Whoa. Wow. Look at that hammer. That is unwieldy. Yep. And that I think later hammer. on, if and when he dies, you can buy that hammer. Um, so anyways, we're going to go in with these two spirits, promptly die, and then uh, hopefully Joe will be around. Well, I don't know, Troy. <laughs> Death by Fire 222 says this boss isn't so bad, but he's pretty cool. Strong words, Death by Fire. Let's see how well my plus four a sunlight sword does. Now, if you guys all stand me near me. Come here, Egon. Cirrus? Guys? All right. <laughs> they don't want to get for a group shot. They don't want to do it. <laughs> She's got, see, she got the beef, too. Oh, so she oh. gets the... Okay. Yeah, but he didn't want to play, so you get nothing! <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to equip Great Chaos Fire Orb and hope for the best. Let's get the show. Oh, yep. wow. Your first boss fight. See, it was powering him. Oh, my God. Jeez. Woo! Oh, Quantum yikes. Destruction. Yikes. Oh, he's shitting lava. Oh, shield bash. Shield bash. See, you can use this fountain here to uh, help stay the hell away from him. 
but he turns so quick. Oh, yeah. You never know if he's going to attack you or one of the other guys. Ah, he's still wow. at me. He moves quite fast. Oh, that is See, really he looked like scary. he was going to attack me, and he hit the guys behind him. Whoa! All right, so I think... Woo! Cirrus, maybe, is casting some spells in him. Look, we've done next to no, no damage. <laughs> Nothing. Meanwhile, oh. going down. Egon's almost dead. And then it'll be oh. Ray and Winston. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to go in with my sword here because oh. this is not working out. Oh my goodness gracious. Get him! Alright, that did a little damage, but not a ton. Take some magic juice. The music so, is so engaging. Yeah, I bought the day one edition and it comes with the soundtrack. It's a pretty great soundtrack. I use it to... Oh! Oh, oh it got oh right God. out of the way. Man, this guy isn't even at half. And now most See, of the... See, this is like... I don't understand how you even beat this guy because your, your friends are going to die soon, right? Oh, he's stunned. Oh, get him! Get in there! Yeah, oh, what is he? He's stabbing him with lightning! Oh, he got me, he got me. Get out of there, Ralph. Get out of there! Ralph, please! Oh, Ralph, yeah, All right. drink your... Almost at half health. This drink is... your Estus, Ralph. Now, at half health, Skid, what happens is the game changes, and he starts doing other shit. Okay. So that butterfly up there is going to start shooting shit Oh, at me. no! See? Oh, Watch. I don't care for that. It's going to shoot a laser. Right. See? Oh, God. Uh, oh, jeez. It's right. a homing thing. Because if it wasn't hard enough, he needs help. Right. From butterfly friends. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not sleeping well tonight after watching this. Oh, a lot of juice. God. That lava is really disturbing. Yeah, so this thing I'm using, the Great Chaos Fire Orb, it Ooh, hits there him. there you go. Yeah, it was a good hit. And then he walks through the lava that it leaves okay, behind. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, oh, just oh, got wow. Yeah. That was close. Woo! This is going. Oh my god. Oh, shit. oh no. <laughs> no, 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 Ralph. Get out of there, Ralph. <laughs> oh, Cirrus is dead. Oh no. That thing just shot a laser. Cirrus oh, is no. dead. Is he gone dead too? Uh, no, I think he's still there. Death by fire brings up a good point. He, uh, he says he might be fire resistant. Oh, is that true? He is resistant. He's not immune. So okay. you're not wrong. It's not the... And I have no magic. Is there... There's so. no better thing you can use? Oh, that hurt. Egon's about to die. Ugh. Oh, boy. Cirrus is already dead. Where's Joe's terrible character when you need him? Yeah, really? Oh, no, he's gone. All right, mano a mano. Oh, boy. Come on, you. Oh, Oh, oh yeah, no, not exactly mano a mano. No. <laughs> mano and friends. Oh my god. So you fought this guy before, right? Yeah, in my other game in I fought game. him, and I'm not even ah oh, dead. Oh, and that's it for you. God, I must have fought him <laughs> forty plus times in my other game before I beat wow. him. Wow. Wow. Whoo. All right. Eldiriel says, just because Skid is there, don't pretend you will actually purposefully invite him to something. We know how you work, Troy. <laughs> it's, it's, really, it's, it's, it's really getting to be a problem. We have to, uh, we have to share the love, Well, I live Skid. so far away. I understand your reluctance to <laughs> even ask. It really it makes, makes no sense. We have to rectify this, Skid. I agree. You know what happened? Like, the whole reason Cannon Fodder began is Joe and I were sitting around with nothing to do and said, hey, why don't we record? Um, so Skid, we just have to hang out more often. I like that. That's why I listen to this. I watch the Twitch is because I, oh, I feel like I'm hanging out with you guys. Right. But in reality, I could just hang out. You with could you. just you be hanging invite out. Invite me over. Right. Like Tom, you're here. There's three yeah. people that could fit on the couch. Yeah. Can you guys hear Tom well? Tom, say something. Uh, hello. It sounds all right. Yeah. All right. So if we had two mics, it would be <laughs> yeah. even better. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we, we we need to up our game. We needed to up our Skid game. Honestly, yeah. I think if people had the choice, they would rather just listen to you and Joe. I, well, I don't think that's true. If Joe had a, uh, 
if Joe had any skills at this game whatsoever. And I don't know anything about it, so I'm probably not that interesting. I don't know what to do here. I'm well, waiting. so can you you can't summon those people again, right? Because you use the embers or whatever. Well, I can keep using embers, but Ralph only has 22 embers. Not a lot. Okay. Not a ton of embers. Basically, if I had beat that guy, Cirrus and Egon, where they died in the fight, I think they're permanently dead. I might be wrong on that. Really? But I think if your NPCs die mid-fight and you end up winning, that ends their quest line. Oh. I could be uh, wrong, but I, I know that's happened in previous Souls games. Um, let's see if Joe can uh, be summoned in. He might be installing his air conditioner. <laughs> yeah, he has a list of chores. <laughs> He's a real, a real man. He's got his honey-do list. And, uh... <laughs> I like that. All right, Hello, definitely... Rainricks. Welcome. I'm definitely going to summon in Oh, Rainricks. Hello, Rainricks. Skid, you guys should have... Uh, Eldiriel says, Skid, you guys should abandon Troy and come to New Haven for pizza. That'll teach him. Yeah, we will be doing that. We will be coming to New Haven. I'm going to be driving through New Haven well, actually, later can today. We... Eldiriel, can we meet in Mystic? Because I really want to go to Mystic Pizza. Boo! No, I do. All right. There is an actual Mystic Pizza. Would you, do you want to go into the Mystic? Yeah, Mystic's a nice little seaside Connecticut town. I like a seaside town. You know, actually, I like New Haven, too. New Haven, uh, you know who's from New Haven? Uh, Benedict Arnold. Really? Yeah. Um, An underrated general. Right. Uh, in the American Revolution. People only know about People him only for know being about a traitor. Treason. Yeah. Right, and it's like, no, he was... Uh, was he a good general before he became yeah, a scumbag? Yeah, he was a very skilled general. It was actually a really interesting story. Him and uh, Ethan Allen, uh, the mountain man, uh, now known more for the furniture stores. But <laughs> That's uh, how I know. But Ethan Allen was this uh, Vermont Green Mountain boy. Uh, it was like a guerrilla fighter, and he ended up teaming up with uh, Benedict Arnold to uh, defend this, to, take, to try to take this uh, British fort uh, up in the Green Mountains. And Benedict Arnold was this... Uh, like West Point educated upper class guy and and Ethan Allen's this complete illiterate and they just they, they had this it was just a really interesting uh, kind of juxtaposition um, see that's what I'm going to bring I don't know anything about Dark Souls so I'm just going to talk but you about, know about the Green Mountain Boys history. yeah anyone have any questions about the Green Mountain Boys just uh, put them on the chat Joe is logging in right now to be summoned wait do you see Joe's character <laughs> I'm going to call him. I'm going to put him on speaker. Hey, buddy. Hey, Joe, you are live on Twitch. I have you on speaker, so please keep your racist comments to a minimum. Okay, we're, right, wait, wait, we're, we're live right now. All right, where do you want to put your summon sign when you get up here? Where Where do I go? Uh, to Dragon Slayer Armor. Oh, okay. Um, I will. Uh, I'll put my summon sign right by Egon. <laughs> right by room. where Egon is. Yeah. All right, we'll be looking for you. Um, and then, and what's the pass? Are we doing a password? Thing? No, let's just do it straight up. And if you get summoned by someone else, Godspeed. <laughs> or just okay. black separation crystal out of there. I'll uh, see, I'll see you momentarily. Uh, Skid has some more revolutionary facts we need to get to. Okay. And this is becoming an emotional twitch. We really need to uh, reevaluate our friendship with Skid. Uh, we're we're leaving him out, Joe, and we need to stop doing that. And it's becoming yeah. it's becoming very apparent, not I only mean, to the fans, but to Tom, who's sitting here as yeah, well. I'm absolutely devastated that it's taken this long for you guys to invite Skid. Thank you. So we need to take Skid out to a nice dinner uh, on your credit card, Joe. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, first of all, apologize, and then figure out how we can be better friends. All right? But in the meantime, um, I'm going to go summon you in. Okay, I'm about to drop my sign. All right, see you soon. That was Joe O'Brien, everybody. Yay. You may know him from uh, being one of the worst rollers in history on the Glass Cannon Podcast. All right, he said he's going to put his sign near Egon of Kareem. And I guarantee you someone else is going to summon him in. Where is it? Where's the sign, Joe? Ah, fuck your candelabra. Joe letting fuck the party candelabra. down again. Yep, this is classic O'Brien here. Oh, well, Daryl uh, knows some of the people working on the ships at the Mystic Seaport. Oh, oh, that looks like Joe's son, bro. Gwendolyn, yep, that's Joe. 
Gwendolyn. Old Gwendolyn O'Brien. <laughs> this is great. Uh, jeepers. Anybody know what Dragon Slayer armor is weak to? I, I think I think in the uh, chat there, Death by Fire was saying you should enchant your weapon with uh, a different element other than, than what you're using. Right. I'm wondering what... That's what I'm wondering. What element? Like, is he weak to dark? Because I got human pine resin. Oh, there is old oh, Gwendolyn. Oh. oh. What a fancy lady. She is beautiful. Ah, he bows before Ralph. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Gwendolyn knows the greatness that is Ralph. <laughs> Let's do something gross to her. Come here, Gwendolyn. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Hey, leave her alone. Come here. I got something for you. <laughs> Let me show you a little Ralph. Now, was that Come actually, back. Is that actually Joe playing yep. Gwendolyn? In your game? Yeah, that's Joe. Oh, that's why. There we go. Oh, yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I bet you he's laughing, too. Final <laughs> one. All right, so what do we decide here? Can can we enchant it with anything? Uh, no answers. No answers. Classic. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for all your help. Uh, I can go blood weapon, rotten to add poison. I doubt he can be poisoned. Uh, all right, let's go magic. We'll make We'll put magic on the weapon. Is magic like the standard go-to? Is like the neutral Uh, well, it's not working. Oh, what am I doing? Why do I have a handkerchief? Uh, oh. That's my, that's my clerk's chime. Okay. All right. Magic. Let's see if that works. I don't know. I just Ooh. feel like it might work. Come on, guys. Come on, Joe. Get up. I get my souls. I'm going to let Joe do all the work. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Come along, Gwendolyn. Joe just beat Dragon Slayer Armor in his game, so okay. hopefully he'll be a little bit more wise to how to beat him. Although he calls it Dragon Slayer Armor. I prefer the Armor. Do you think he'll be more effective than the CPU NPCs that you had last time? I mean, it is Joe. I mean, yeah. That remains to be seen. But he's not, like, subject to... His bad dice rolling in the situation. It's right, just he's just subject to being his Joe. Own shitty skill. Oh, oh, it looks fucked up. What weapon is Joe using? It looks like a flame sword. Yeah. There you go. Seems to be going much smoother this time. Yeah, so far so good. Cirrus looks pretty healthy. I forgot to do the uh, sunlight sword incantation. Oh, that's right. Well, there's no time now. Got it. There you go. So I have to keep drinking my magic juice because that fire spell takes a lot of energy out. Come on. Yeah, draw his attention so that they can hit him. So, so Joe can do all the work. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm missing. He it's just horrible aim. So what, what benefit does the summoned character gets from participating in this fight? Uh, oftentimes you can, like, continue an NPC storyline by having them come into certain battles. Other times it's just, you know, it's just getting PC NPC help instead of some random person's help. Right. They're never as good, but... Oh, weaknesses for Dragon Slayer armor are dark and magic, I think, says oh. Death by Fire. Oh. So magic was good. Yeah. Oh, he's less than half now. Oh, and we're yeah, all still nice. alive. Good oh. morning, Tron905. Hey, Tron. All right, I am out of luck here. Let's go magic weapon. Oh, you know what? Tears of Denial I got to do. Oh, I forgot to do it already. All right. Just going to have to fight him. Oh, Gwendolyn's oh, no. dead. Gwendolyn died. Joe. Oh, Joe. Natural one. Yep. Oh, it's just me and Cirrus now. Is it oh. sad that the the AI of the computer was better than <laughs> Joe? Yeah, that's what it was. Wondering. Oh no. No. Oh, no. Estes, no. Estes. Oh, I don't know where I am. All right. Joe just texted me. Can't read it now, Joe. Sorry. Oh, oh no! Damn. No! Wow! Oh, that's so sad. So brutal. So... But you didn't lose any souls or anything, right? No, I regained my souls that were there. They weren't much, okay. um, but the, there's a green glowing thing that's always there when you go back to where you died. So if you can grab that glowing thing before you die again, 
you retrieve your souls. Right. But you okay. always start with zero after you die. Right. Unless you use like a ring that allows you to retain it. Uh, Death by fire. Question for you, Skid. If Galabras dies, Saren Ray forbid. I don't care what Saren Ray says. <laughs> what class would you play? Well, I actually do have something in mind. Uh, if the worst happens, I love Galabras, but I do have a, I think, a pretty exciting um, option if uh, if the worst happens. Yeah, you've talked to me about a couple of cool options. I, I think there'll be great surprises if Galabras ever bites it. Um, and I really don't want him to because I'm I'm more more and more falling in love with the man day by day. He's a special guy, and he's really coming into his powers. I want him to get uh, more romantically, uh, romantically fulfilled. Yes, you know. Besides, just like storks and Vikings. Right. <laughs> that's like not really that fulfilling. I mean, unless that's him. your thing. That isn't. Boom! Got to use another amber. All right, Joe is claiming he'd like to try again. He got hit. He said he said he got hit by a random fireball. That's his excuse. <laughs> Always one of yours? Excuse. Yeah, one of my fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> Always killing Joe. Let's see if old Gwendy is back. Oh, there she is. Yeah, all right. Uh, Ranrick gonna... says, I don't want anyone to die, but at the same time, I want to know what other kind of cool characters you guys can cook up. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we all miss Cormley, but Della is awesome. Yes. I love Della. She's so cool. And it's yeah. a cool, like... Uh, it's a, it's cool to see the different dynamic that takes place with a completely different class of character. The way it changes the way we operate is really fun. Yeah, the group dynamic changes vastly when you have a completely different class going yeah. from a witch to a magus. A magus, yeah. And the personality's different, like that's fun. And Unfortunately, we still have Matthew's personality. Right, that's... That. <laughs> Can't get rid of that. Uh, Joe's saying he got summoned to another world, had to separate with the black separation crystal. Well, I feel sorry for whoever summoned him into their game. Yep. With his flaming sword. Joe, use magic if you're listening to this at home. Infuse it with magic. Joe is, a, I think he's doing a sorcerer, an intelligence dex build. Oh, death by fire. I was completely wrong. Weakness is frost and nothing else not resistant to fire. Uh. Frost. So that means I'd have to use... Uh, I think the only weapon I have, and it's the one I got in this level, is the... Irithal straight sword, or I think there was an Irithal rapier. Yeah, right here. See, that does 35 frost. See that? Oh, there? okay. The problem is, its damage output is so low. Maybe so you could probably, try. Would you be better off just using what you were using? I'm doing more damage that way, but. Well, let's try something. Let's try this Irithal straight sword plus one. Oh, here's Gwendolyn. Come on, Gwendy. Wendy Richter. Um, I'll try it. I'll try anything twice. See, with a sword that already has infusions, it doesn't allow you to like put pale pine resin on it. See how it's blacked out? Oh. You can't oh. double infuse weapons. Oh, okay. All right. One element per go, huh? But I did put Tears of Denial on, which honestly could have won us that fight, because with Tears of Denial... Hey, there's Gwendolyn! Hey! <laughs> All right! Woo! Uh, when you get hit a death shot, you get one more chance to live. Okay. I forgot to do that the last two battles. Ah, very nice, Gwendolyn. You're a lovely lady. Uh, I just want to say something. Come here. So, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so what is Tears of Denial? Tears of Denial, uh, it's that glowing orb on my chest. Uh -huh. When you get hit in what have been, would have been a kill shot, you get one, you stay alive. Oh, okay. It's basically, I think it's like, the, it's kind of like having the Die Hard feet. Oh, except yeah. when you get All hit right. again, you're dead. Cool. Uh, is she using, yeah, rapier. So she's going Irithal rapier. I'm going Irithal straight sword. And we're all going to hell. Let's try this one. Split the party. You flank that side. <laughs> I wonder if they give you a bonus for flanking. The good oh, thing about the right in there. Irithal yeah. rapier is... See, he's going slow oh, you're now. Getting he's a... frosted. See how he's frosted? Oh, oh yeah. That slows that's, him down. That's a good thing. So how long does that effect last after you hit him? Uh, the key is to oh. hit him multiple oh, times God. in a row. Oh. All right, we're doing good physical damage to him. Yeah. Nice. 
nice. Getting good little chunks out of him there. Yeah, this, this straight sword does not do a ton of damage, but where he's weak to frost, that's key. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, bash. dear. Oh, dear. Oh, stunned. See, he fell to one knee. Oh. So, is a stun that happens on like a critical hit or something? Yeah, or uh, kind of like multiple hits in a row breaks their guard. Okay. It, a lot, it happens to us, like if they run out of stamina, it's just bosses have a lot higher stamina threshold. Okay. Frost seems to be doing the trick. Yeah. Much See, he's stunned yeah. again. Yeah. Get in there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, Gwendolyn's dead. Thanks, Joe. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that sword. It like swung straight over my head. Yeah. Oh, she just healed both of us. Oh, nice. Oh, what was Whoa. that? That is the laser beam from the moonlight. Holy crap, butterflies. Oh, he's down I'm to half. This game. He's down to half. Oh, Whoa, shit bash. that's not good. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guard break. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Come on, Phantom! Oh, shit! <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> oh, Cirrus is dead too. Oh, oh no! No! Oh, oh, I just lost my tears of denial. Oh, and then you're. Oh. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh my god. Oh, this thing is so. Oh. Yeah, see, this is the kind of thing I can't, I can't tolerate <laughs> as a gamer. So close. So close. Because y'all know me. I get mad. I get so yeah. angry. And, uh, you know, and then my girlfriend gets upset. And uh, I just have to stop playing. So I can't, I'd never make it through this game. Yeah, it's, uh, Joe's gone through about six controllers since he started Dark Souls 1. <laughs> uh, man, I thought we were doing pretty well there. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to buff this weapon up a little bit more, but I don't have any souls. I think I forgot to get my souls, too. It's a shame point. you don't have a better frost uh, option. Yeah, you can't infuse anything with frost in this game. I don't think there's any spells that allow you to make a weapon frost. You can do fire, poison, bloody, magic, dark, lightning, but there's nothing that allows you to, I don't think, allows you to uh, make it frost. No. All right, let's just... Uh, this is a another one of our thrilling twitches. <laughs> uh, dying to a boss fifty times. You know what? I should uh, magic up. Thanks for joining, Captain Wildbeard. Enjoy uh, your day. Oh, Captain Wildbeard! Awesome. Captain Wildbeard's seen enough. Yeah, I don't blame you, Captain. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is an embarrassment to the twitch, really. This is. I mean, we knew this is what Dragon Slayer Armor was going to be. It's going to be just a brutal. Brutal, uh, constant. Oh, Lana's here. Battle. Lana in the house. Ari Orchid, hi. This is the worst timing for this live stream. She says, "I have an exam tomorrow." She has an exam tomorrow. Well, work. Can you get your priorities straight? Yeah, come on. Uh, is your exam on how to return the Lords of Cinder to their throne? Oh, that would. Is, if it is, that would be awesome. We can definitely help. That would be really helpful. Probably not. In that, I'm guessing. I'm burning. I don't know what campus. European education. I don't, education I don't even is. know what a Lord of Cinder is, but I'm sure it's related to this game <laughs> and her exam. <sighs> Man, I really think we can get this. The frost was doing the trick. I wish I could throw frost frost bolts at him. That would be good. Yeah. But no, they don't make it that easy. Is that going back? Maybe to you me? could read some uh, Robert Frost poetry to it. That's. <laughs> Vulnerable to that. <laughs> See, this is what we miss by two not woods, you two roads diverge in a golden wood. Oh, there's Gwendy. She's back. Uh, let's try Egon this time. Uh, you know what? No, I like her because she can heal. Lord knows Gwendolyn needs it. Are there any frosty companions you could summon? Well, Joe is supposed to be using his Irithyll rapier. The and, same one you have. Well, I'm using the Irithyll straight sword, so he's using the rapier, and he's a dex build, so you can go a lot faster. Oh, like, okay. cha -cha 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 -cha. Yeah, so you can uh, stun him. And what's great is we're both using that. It takes like three to five hits for the frost to do effect, but it has to be consecutive hits. So if we're both hitting him with frost weapons, there's a better chance of him being slowed down. And I think that's why we were winning. Joe just has to not die. Okay. Well, that's a tall order, but... Yeah. Joe, if you're listening, 
don't die. <laughs> don't do this, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. That's, That's what you, you're Joe. doing. Ha, ha, ha. That's what you're doing, Gwendolyn. Uh, Arya's, uh... Oh, here we go. Watch this. Yeah, 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 right on your face. <laughs> All right, this is getting to be too much. <laughs> La- yeah, really. Um, Lana's exam is on how to do psychological research, so probably for the aftermath and psychological trauma. That will be really helpful. Absolutely. Yeah. Just watching Troy play this game is just, uh oh, devastating. It's giving me yeah. trauma. Yeah. Actually, I think it's more Joe than you're playing. Yeah, he's terrible. Yeah, Joe's worse. See, this, my sword... One hit is only doing 79 damage. It's nothing. So it's the getting lots of hits in. Yeah. Oh, that. Wait, there goes my tears of denial. Oh my, that's that was it already. Yeah, one hit. Oh my god. Oh well. shit! I just wasted one of my magicas. But I'll recast tears of denial. Boom. I forgot that I already had full magic because I'm uh, an idiot. I wish I had tears of a clown. <laughs> that's a higher level spell. Yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice Ooh. try, bro. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Ooh. no, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there, The Ralph. rule of thumbs in Dark Souls is, like, two hits and get out. Lana, you are not going crazy. It is Skid. It is me. No, she's going crazy because you're here. Oh, La- is that? Oh. Ladies love cool skin. <laughs> That's right. LLCS. LL- LLCS. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's all effed up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you walk into your own fire? Uh, no, it was the AoE effect of him slamming down the sword. Oh, man. Oh, watch this. He just he buries the axe into the ground and then lifts it up and shoots lightning. Oh, oh. Just blocking his shots takes all of your stamina. Oh my god. Well, as long as the boss is hitting Joe or Sirius, you're, you're good. Yeah. Sirius satellite Sirius. radio. <laughs> yeah, Sirius. <laughs> I knew that would come to play. This is serious. Oh no. Oh no. no. Ooh, get out of there. All right. Not even at half yet. Watch him. Look at him. The way. Oh, that's a badass move. Oh! Definitely frosted him. Get oh, out of no. there! Get out of there! Get out of there, Ralph! Get oh, away from him! Look at that move. <laughs> so do you... That's for you. Do you get this armor when you kill him? You or? can buy... I, I believe you can then buy his armor from somebody. Oh, this is good. This is like drawing his attention away. Yeah. So they can heal up with him. See, the key to this is where I'm the host of the world, I have to stay alive. Right. Um, so obviously I want to help in the fight, but... Stay alive, no matter what occurs. Oh, I definitely frosted him, so that's slowing him down. Good. It's not doing tons of damage, but slowing a guy like this down helps. That's huge. Oh yeah, he's definitely slower. Just gotta watch out for those fireballs. Yeah. And you never know where he's gonna attack. Oh, there you that go. Hit, that one hit. I think the camera's the biggest opponent here. Like, you're not able to see where oh, no. the yeah. fireball is right. coming. Oh, right. no! 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 Yeah. No! No, I'm alive. What? what? Tears, yeah, of denial. tears of denial. Tears of denial, but Cirrus is dead. No! Gwendolyn, help! Gwendolyn! If I can just stay alive. Tears of denial again. There so you go. So giving yeah. me all this time here. How many of those do you have? Uh, just enough that I can replenish my magic, so I have no more magic to replenish. Okay. Uh, so basically... We have to win. Yes. Nice. Ran right through that lava. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. So you know oh, that's it. I got nothing left. I have to do all oh, melee no. attacks now. Oh no. Oh no. He has so much health left, and our weapons are garbage. Yeah. Oh, that lightning. Oh no. Shit. Get up, Ralph. Ralphie boy. Heal. Heal, Ralph. <laughs> These fireballs just gotta roll out of the way. Oh. So it's just so much going on in this fight. Oh, if Joe and oh, I could beat him. That would be really special. Oh, come on. Wait, wait. No. No. Joe's got to see that I got tears of denial, so he's going to play conservative. You see those fireballs just roll until they stop. Come 
on. Come on. He slowed down. He slowed him. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh fireballs. So much health left. Less than a quarter now. Come on, Gwendy. I wish Baron was here. I know. All you need is a gun. No! Oh, oh no! no! Oh! Oh, <laughs> Worst possible oh, timing for a roll. Oh damage. my god. Well, the only joy oh. you can take from that is I guarantee you O'Brien just threw his controller <laughs> halfway will, across the that room. That will need to be replaced. <laughs> Joe just texted, No! <laughs> you just rolled a natural one. Oh my god. That's exactly what happened. Oh my Fumble god. card. You fall five feet away. Oh. Oh my god. This is going to be the whole Twitch. This is this this Twitch is going to be entitled The Dragon Slayer Arm War Fight. Yep. Uh hello Ice Pick Trotsky, welcome. That's a great name. Great uh, handle. Ice yeah, Pick I always uh, admire that. As a student of history, I'm I'm a big fan. And uh as a student of Ice Picks. Yeah. And yes, the other voice you were hearing if you're late to the party is our friend Tom who was here to play in our Jade Regent campaign, which we had to cancel because our idiot friend uh, got too drunk. <laughs> We're assuming that's what We're it is. We're assuming. I don't he, know. Could he could be dead. He could be dead. In which case, this is going to sound awful. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to edit it out. <laughs> Good chance he's dead, though. R.I.P. I'll miss him. Rest in pee? I missed him today. Why would you yeah. want to rest there? Uh, yeah, I, I had planned a pretty awesome Jade Regent session. I was so excited. Yep. There's always a chance that he wakes up and we start at uh, noon. Oh, wait, it's noon. And that's the thing. This is You guys are 11th level now. So it's you know if you're playing early on, you're like, okay, can somebody just play my fighter? Somebody play my my rogue, my caster? But I, you, I can't have one of you guys play your 11th character and his 11th level witch. It's impossible. Yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't know where to start playing an yeah. 11th level witch. He doesn't even know where to start. I, he, he can't even play it. <laughs> okay. uh, all right. I, I have a really good feeling about this one. I think you can do it. I've, you've gotten so close. You just have yeah. to not... Not die. Oh. That's the big, that's that's the, the big thing. Yeah, that's just, what you don't, keep, just don't die, that's what you and keep I think forgetting. you can win. Joe has given up on us, I believe. Did he leave? It looks like he is. He is nowhere to be found. I embered up. You know, one thing that I blew in that game, oh wow, Cirrus is, oh, there's Cirrus, is that uh, I used one of my magic potions when I had full magic. So I would have had at least three more fireballs to throw at him. And that's key. When I have to stay alive, if I have a ranged attack, that helps tremendously, but hmm. I wasted it. I wasted it! Oh, uh, people are asking if Tom is Tom Exposition. Uh... No, Tom. Sorry, it's you weren't. a different weren't, Tom. You different weren't. Tom. You weren't yeah. the inspiration for Tom Exposition. I no. guess I could. I just... wish I could be the inspiration for Tom Exposition, but sadly, I am. I am not. Well, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, Lana suggests you should come on the podcast to to do exposition. Would you be willing to do that? Absolutely. To, re I'd be willing to read do stage that. directions. <laughs> it can be very <laughs> obvious with what's going on. In the Adventures campaign. exeunt stage right. Um, I, I have a really good feeling about this. I think this frost weapon, though it's not doing a ton of damage, is the key to success. I don't know what yeah. else. I mean, I don't know anything about the I game, but I don't see what else you could do. I mean, I could just use a better weapon. I could go back to my heavy swy hander, my lightning Lothric plus seven. These do so much more damage. Like this one does two hundred and seventeen plus one forty four. What's its element though? Uh, none. Nothing? None, yeah. It has no elemental well, damage. It just plays to Ralph's strength build. It won't slow him. You won't get that slow. You were really close. Or pretty close last time. I mean, it's worth sticking with it. Yeah, you're right. What am I doing? Maybe you should give up on the uh, range attack, though. There's Gwendolyn. She's back. Oh, all right. <sighs> I love that Joe plays a girl. <laughs> oh, unable to summon fans. He's a big Oscar uh -huh. Wilde fan. That's why it's a uh, Gwendolyn. He is. Yeah. He makes up for being uneducated by also being underdressed. <laughs> that's a deep. That's a deep cut. Uh, okay. If only Joe was here to respond to that, but sadly he's Joe doesn't too even much know. of a wuss. Joe thinks <laughs> Oscar Wilde is Olivia Wilde's husband. <laughs> <laughs> he is quite the sophisticated. Um, I don't. 
quite know what's happening. Oh, he did, though. I don't know if, if we can mention this, but uh, he brought uh, my T-shirt today the, for the for the contest. The same T-shirts that we give away for the trivia contest. We got we get, some for the crew. We got some for us, and they are spectacular. They're they so look so nice. good. You guys who won... Uh, I think some of you guys may be out there. They're they're great. You guys will be really happy with these shirts. They're so nice. Uh, yeah, I, I like them because, I was telling you, they don't look like super nerdy shirts. They look like cool shirts with the Glass Cannon logo, logo very subtly on the left breast. Yeah. Uh, and then something fun on the back. We'll let the winners uh, tweet a photo out so you can see what they look you like. Could like. You could go golfing in this shirt, and no one would give you a side sideways glance. I... I'd give you a sideways glance. Well, you would because you're on the show. Yeah, I'd be so like, how's like, that guy hey, have our why shirt? Why do you have our shirt? And wh- when did why I start golfing? Go- why yeah. are you yeah. <laughs> why are you golfing, nerd? <laughs> All right, Joe says set a password. So I'm going to set password smart because he keeps getting summoned into other people's worlds. Uh, Ice Pick uh, Trotsky uh, says you could tighten it up a bit. Now, I'm assuming Titanite is a... Titanite up, yeah. Yeah. Is a uh, it's what you use, element. yeah. It's what you use to level up uh, a sword such as this. So I could, if I had a couple twinkling titanites, I could buff it to at least a plus four. I wouldn't make it plus five because you have to use a very rare element to make something it's maxed yeah. out thing. But that would certainly help. Uh, pro- I, I thought about doing that. The problem is I don't have any souls. If I die this time, I'll, I'll go level it up. Hi, Oystein Sin. <laughs> Joe said the sign is down. I do not see it. Rainricks, when are you nerds gonna let me buy one of those shirts? Hopefully, uh, hopefully soon. It's uh, a little bit of a complicated issue, but we hopefully will be able to do that soon. We're working on it. They're badass, and you want to stay cool during the summer, both at the beach and at your gaming table. <laughs> Skid, write that down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will. I will not. Uh... Joe did an uppercase uppercase S on Smart. Since when do we do an uppercase S on Smart? <laughs> Because you don't want someone accidentally. Joe to... still uses like a strunken white way of pronoun. He uses two spaces after a period in his oh, emails, and that's it drives so me insane. Awful! That's the worst thing you can do to another person. It really is. Oh. It is the worst thing two you can do. Two spaces after a period. That's like to another human. That's a that's a war crime. Yeah, it some, is in some countries. Are you allowed to do that in uh, Belgium, Lana? Yeah, Lana. Two you... spaces after a period. How, what, what's the? Uh... What's the rule there? What's the custom in Belgium? I was watching a little bit of the uh, Belgium uh, uh, national team in the Euros the other day. That is a fun, fun team. And now this is uh, lacrosse yes. or polo? <laughs> what, it's water sport? lacrosse. Ooh. Yeah. That sounds fun. They love it in Europe. I don't understand. Uh, well, there's old Gwendy. I'll give her the prostration gesture. As in, about time. Let's go, you. Jerk. <laughs> you lady. You lady Now what Kevin. happens if uh, Gwendolyn falls off the ledge? That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> In fact, right before I beat it, I'm going to try and kick Gwendolyn off the ledge. <laughs> just so he doesn't get any of the souls. Even uh, better. That would be amazing. Oh my god, that would be great. Alright, I'm going to give him a... The you ready? Alright, let's see if I can do a little M- MLG, Major League Gaming stuff here. I'm going to go equip the Sunlight Sword, mm-hmm. two-hand it, and do one of these. Give us all the buff. Oh, there you go. I right, haven't done that in a while. She didn't set, set foot in there. Oh, Joe liked that. And Sweet. then go to the straight sword. And we retain the buff. That worked. That is hashtag MLG. Major League Game. Except I had all the time in the world to do it. Here we go. Oh, Lana. Lukaku is my hero, too. He's a he's a great he's a great striker. He's a pianist, yes. Romelu Lukaku. All right. Come on, guys. Do it. Oh, his sword, he, or an axe, whatever it is, it swings 360 degrees. His sword does remind me of uh, Bloodborne. A lot. Yeah, that is a Bloodborne style of weapon. I just rolled right to my death. Again. Oh, no. He turns so quick. Yeah, Sometimes he's... it looks like he's going to attack one way, oh. and then he's. Oh, shit. Oh. He's doing so much more damage, though. Yeah. Oh, oh! Oh! No! 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 Get out of the way. Do I, did I lose tears of denial? You lost your uh, tears. Son of a beach! Oh. oh man. See, I'm out of the fight right now. I've got to. 
heal back up and all this other nonsense. One hit. Lost my tears. Oh, boy. I didn't care about my souls. No, Ralph. How do you even have souls? You didn't even keep them Yeah, up. I think it's zero. Watch. So you were souls yeah, are zero. Yeah, you haven't gotten it. Oh, watch out for that one. Eesh. Oh, he's oh, stuck. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> By the heart of Ralph. Get out of there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I'm still alive. How? Tears. How is that possible? Tears of denial. <laughs> Tears of denial. Oh, God. Oh, it's not just a river in Egypt. <laughs> See, this takes me all this time. I have to be out of the fight to do this, but me staying alive is clutch. All right, let's do a little ranged. Yeah, get. I'm a little fire, Scarecrow. <laughs> oh, that did 503 damage. Oh, nice. Because he actually hit with it yeah. instead of hitting the fountain in the middle. We right. got him flush, flush in the back too. I think. Oh, right, he's oh. not even at half health. All right, let's yeah. call him at half now. Yeah. Oh. Damn it all the hell. Oh my god. Cirrus is oh, dead. Sirius is dead. Cirrus. Oh, watch out for these fireballs. Damn it, I got hit by one. Alright. Me and Gwendy. Below half. Now remember, there is that ledge there. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna don't roll, roll off, off of it. it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's Whoa! Wow. I have not seen that move yet. That was pretty awesome. A guy this big, you think would be? Slower. Oh, I got crushed by a fireball. Oh, no. Lost my tears. No. Oh no, I'm hit dead. No. Yeah. Oh. Oh. God. Oh, and what? Just barely at half. He's barely at half health. I was trying to heal, and he did the big scraping great axe. Uh, Damn oh. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh. All right, I'm going to take... Maybe you should try something else. I'm going to take... LD, was it Eldirior's yeah. advice? Or Captain Wildbeard said level up the straight sword. Uh, uh, I believe it was... I want to give credit where credit is due. It was Ice Pick Trotsky who said... You could Ice Pick it. Trotsky. Yeah. Now, Eldirior did say maybe try on some, uh, some different armor. Maybe with some lightning resistance or something. Uh, that's not a bad idea. I was all excited to put on this cool armor and... Uh, and Lana suggested, or she asked, have you been used burning the undead bone shards, Troy? I, I have. I have. Thank you. That yeah. you, There's like 11 of them in the game, and you, uh, it just allows your Estus to recover more health when you drink a health potion. I speak Trotsky. I'm wondering if including Cirrus is helping at all. You're not wrong. You're not no, wrong. No. Uh, we could go with Gwendolyn and uh, another rando phantom. Then we'll probably beat him. Because we know the random phantom is going to be better than Joe and I combined. Yeah. Before you get into this next uh, boss fight there, uh, Death by Fire brings something up. He says, Cannon Fodder is a great name. Who came up with it? Uh, it was me. <laughs> Typical skit. If you Always like it, it was me. Taking no, the credit. <laughs> I wish I could take credit for it. It was actually a good buddy of ours, uh, Nick Stevens. Oh, that was... Yeah, he told me oh. one day. He's like, you should do a, a, like a talkback show. Call it Cannon Fodder. So oh, that's a great that idea. A, he is a very smart gentleman. Uh, I sat on that idea for a while, and then uh, Joe and I had a couple beers one day, and now we have a new show. You're oh. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Nick right. Stevens was on the uh, ESPN, uh, the the Find a New Sports Center host uh, reality show that they had like years ago. Oh, really? Like, Ten years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Today it's like the ten year anniversary or something. What yeah. is Sports Center? Well. Uh, <laughs> For, for all of you out there, probably. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sports Center, it's the music you hear whenever we kick down a door. Uh, got it. What am I, I'm trying to infuse it with an idiot. All right, let's see what we can do here. I can make it a plus two, and then I can use the rest of my Twinkling Titanite to make it a plus three. Uh, Will that help? I'm going to save my Twinkling Titanite. Even a plus two is better. Be I'll be careful. Joe says maybe I should try Egon in him instead of Cirrus. I mean, I'm, I'd say change it up. Yeah, definitely going to change it up. You know. We're going to beat him this time. I can feel it. I think so. Our friend, our friend Drew just woke up. He did indeed forget, forget. about the I'm session. I'm sure he did. Oh, my bastard. Uh, now there is talk of him jumping in a cab uh, to play a three-hour session instead of a epic <laughs> six-hour session that I had planned. Um, I got index cards up the wazoo with encounters. <laughs> and it's hard, too, because we have... 
it's going to be difficult to schedule this game because Joe, for those of you who don't know, is expecting a baby in the next few days, maybe. And uh, the baby uh, probably won't play Pathfinder. I mean, not, Joe's not naming it's possible. the child, right? I, <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, he definitely should let somebody else name it. Yeah. <laughs> this is my child, the <laughs> child, the infant, the infant. Uh, oh, I hope he's listening. There's <laughs> nothing better than shit. Not All right. Oh man! All right, I'm feeling real confident. I've said that the last three times, but this. Usually when I say, all right, last time, and then we have to shut off the Twitch, that's when we win. But Maybe you should do a, uh, a Twitter poll of what Joe's uh, new child shall be named. Yeah, that's what I suggested like, we should do. Yeah. We, we should name the child like we do with the animals. I'm sure, yeah. he, I'm sure his wife would love that. <laughs> I'm I sure can't believe she would. I think it should be either Ralph or Gwendolyn. I, yeah, I mean... Or Sierra Zariga. We really want to honor these characters by naming Joe's firstborn after one. All right, Drew. His, his wife will enjoy. Drew is in fact yeah. jumping in a cab, and we're going to get a three-hour session. Okay. In. We have a our, our life is ridiculous. I am going to smack him life. right across the face the minute he walks through the door. Although this was really fun. Yeah, I'm glad. This is what it's all about, and I we can tell Joe when he comes back that uh, he's been fired and replaced with his kid. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Just son for a boy and your daughter for a girl. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Like that is that your daughter? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's no one else fighting Dragon Slayer armor right now, so I guess we'll try uh, Gwendolyn and Egon, and just let Cirrus melt away. All right. Egon's got great weapon. Hello, young Gwendolyn. I have, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, have, I have faith that you'll actually do it this time. I, you Maybe. know, I think so. I had faith that you would, would do it last time, but now I don't. I don't have faith. <laughs> I don't have faith this time. Stay tuned. All right. Um, come on, guys. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, so you said maybe change. Uh, this probably has pretty good lightning defense. No, it actually doesn't. Problem is, my other armors are so heavy. Fallen Knight armor is better. Exile Knight is better. With story Y, with story we says last time just means you are about to die. That's probably true. I'm gonna put on this armor. That looks pretty cool, right? Yeah. Cause looking cool. That's the most that important thing. Yeah. It, right. Exactly. Maybe go no. A new it is better to look than, the, than to play good. Uh, I can't go on go new helm. So all right, here we go. Silver Knight armor. Ralph time. Hashtag Ralph time. Hashtag place my. Holy smarts. That's my first move always. Roll past. And then just bide your time. And let your ghost do all the way. Yup. Can you do those uh, backstabby sneak attacks with this guy? Not with a guy like this. There are some bosses you can. Oh, I knew that was Get coming. out of there. Oh, my God. The shield bash takes half, half my health. health. yeah. Death by Fire warns that you're running through your embers. You might want to put down a summon sign to try to regain some. You're not, you're not wrong, Death by Fire. Oh, yep. oh, there nice. you go. The key is like... Oh, oh yeah, see that ran away. Like a coward. Like a Gwendolyn. <laughs> <laughs> like a common Gwendolyn. So I feel like this fight's been going on for 20 minutes, and he's a quarter health now. Tron. Oh, just got shielded. Tron asked, does Ralph get to manage a special in a cup of coffee? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if he, if stun. Wins. Don't get him. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh he's playing yes. possum. Let yeah. Gwen take that hit. All right, almost at half health. We did some. That was a You're good. You're doing pretty well this time. Good run. How's Cirrus looking? Oh, she's got. Uh, oh, it's Egon. She, oh, Egon. He's he's still 
still in good shape. The benefit of Cirrus is she can heal herself and others. Oh, oh okay. Just, all right, so when you see those things coming, just roll. Right. Don't even bother trying to fight. So, uh... Oh, oh no. And you can't cheese him off the ledge? I wish. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be great. Bull rushing. You gotta watch out for this laser! Oh, uh, no! You get hit by the laser! Yeah, that thing is... Sometimes an automatic kill. Yeah. I think the armor is... This armor is a little better, using a better lightning defense armor. Yeah. Yeah, that's Good what, call. uh... That's what's suggested. Oh, oh, see? Oh. He just turned around. Oh. Watch out. Oh. Fireballs. Look out for the balls! Oh, no. Oh, God. I still got my tears. But for how long? Let's pepper him with some fire. Oh, oh fire. good hit. Oh, good there you hit. go. Right in his face. Oh, got him there again. There you go. That did some damage. Oh, Ooh. nice Ooh. one, Ralph. Yeah. See, when Ralph, he's not hit him, too. Oh, wow. That was heat. great. Ralph. All right, now he sees me. He's like, you son of a bitch. Yeah. I do not care for fire. He doesn't like that fire. Come on, come on, everybody's still alive. Roll, roll. Oh, get out of my way, Roll, I still got my tears. Oh, he wants oh, me. Oh, he is gunning right for you. Ah, uh, gave up, gave up the chase. Oh, shit, I ran out of juice. Hi, Rusnik, welcome. Got him, got him. Good oh, to see I you, missed. sir. It flew wide. Oh, madam. Probably, sir. Less than a quarter health. Oh, no! Oh. He comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Just keep that fountain between you and him. Oh, somebody just got crunched. Gwendolyn's holding her own. Yeah, she's still, she's still up. Oh, oh nice. Oh, that took, I took. Yeah, you you did, that was a big up. hit. Oh, Egon's like, I'm just gonna wait here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even the computer's like, fuck this, this guy. This, this sucks. Oh. Oh, oh right, right over, over his head. head. Oh. He's almost dead. Are you All out right. of magic? Oh, this is my last magic. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh, oh I think he got him at his feet. Oh no, I rolled oh, no, towards no, him! No, no, no. Oh no! Don't Ralph. roll on the side! Don't roll on the side! <laughs> don't roll on the side! No, no. Uh, you still got your tears. Oh, still got the tears. He's like two He's hits so away. Close. Oh, Gwendolyn just got pounded. Oh, hit him, hit him. Yes! Yeah! Get out of there, Gwendolyn! Get out of there, Gwendolyn! Oh, I messed up! Get out of there, Gwendolyn! Oh. oh, he's coming after me! Hit you in the face! Oh, oh, he's almost yeah. dead. He's almost, he's almost down. dead. Get him, get him. Get him. He's dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Air of fire destroyed. <laughs> Woo. Ooh. And Egon lived. Wow. Yeah. That was much better. I was intense. <gasps> yeah. Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Oh, oh God. Oh, I'm so tired. 52,000 souls. Wow. That's a ton. Oh, that's oh, great. That's phenomenal. Light this bonfire. A bonfire. That's helpful, right? Now. Oh yeah. Oh guys, that was awesome. That was great, man. Whew. Again, I never want to play this game. Ever, <laughs> but I love watching it. I know you're just watching, and it like makes you uh, yeah. gives you yeah, heart yeah. palpitations. My palms are so sweaty. Yeah. Oh, that Woo. was fun. Yeah, uh, that was great. Oh, I'm gonna spend these souls. So give you a little preview of coming attractions. This next room here is called the Grand Archives. Coming up. And it's uh, pretty harrowing. It's one of the last levels before the final two levels of the game. Um, if you play Dark Souls 1, you might remember the Duke's archives. I think they're somehow related. But this is not the next area we're going. Oh, no, no, no. The next area we're going is called... Uh, you know what? I can actually show you what it looks like. If you take a can little peek over here? this ledge... Hey, I can see my house from here. There it is. Uh... See, Skid, this is why don't we, we don't invite you over. You oh, live, you live too far. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no elevator that takes you straight from the... that bridge. <laughs> uh, that down there is called the Cons Consumed King's Garden. Not there. Oh. I think that is... That's probably Farron Keep. Maybe it's over here. But anyways, that is going to be the next level down okay. there, that garden. Wow. Uh, and there's a bunch of shit that we have to go through there. Then, once we do those two levels, I think it's two levels, we'll come back here. Uh, I'm going to go spend some souls... And I'll finish with a little taste of the next level. And then we're going to wrap it up. Sweet. The developers really thought this whole game through, being able to look at different areas. From it is oh, pretty uh, like It's so neat. Areas. 
beautiful. I do like being able to see something from a distance and know it's not just, uh, you know, a background like filler. It's like an actual location. I always, I always love that. The first time I ever experienced that was Skyrim. I didn't play any of the Elder Scrolls yeah, before yeah. that, but I mean, just being able to be like, I can, if I walk for days, I can get to that mountaintop. Right. Yeah, that's not just a static backdrop. It's, it's actually something you can experience. Hey, this weapon ended up working out. Good call, uh, leveling it up. Um, Lana says people are looking at her weirdly for silently celebrating on her own in the library. All right. <laughs> You're living with us in these moments. All right. I'm going to level up here. Sorry, not luck, Lana. Uh, <laughs> she was always wanted the luck. I'm going to go. I'm gonna, I want to get up to 20 vitality. So I'm going to go. You might be like, vitality, really? I want to be able to work with a heavy steel sh sh tower shield. Yeah, I yeah. like that. There's a lot of souls to invest in that one point. Oh, God. I know the higher you level up, the more souls you have to spend. Uh, and I'm still sitting on 15,000 souls, but we'll deal with that off air. Let me show you. Let me give you a little, little taste of the next Twitch. Anybody else have a horrible stomachache? <laughs> I wonder if it has anything to do with the 40 beers I drank yesterday. <laughs> I feel like I Troy have... had his uh, first uh, softball game of the season <laughs> yesterday, which uh, is always in horrible shape the day afterwards. Yeah, like we we've say, grown to, we've grown to expect it. Our drinking team has a softball problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, we need T-shirts made up to say that. Uh, so uh -huh. let's see if uh, if our buddy Drew is actually coming. Yep, they're going to be over here by by one. So we we actually be able nice. to play. Oh, great. Okay. Um, awesome. I wish you guys could uh, be party to this campaign, uh, our Jade Region campaign. It is so... I, I just love it so much. And I love, I love our characters. Our characters are so great. And so they're rich. So, they're so rich. The relationships between them are so great. And they're so integrated. And Troy's done a great job like integrating them into the, into the plots. And it's... Oh, I love it. It's, I love it so much. And we, we've been playing it for two and a half years due yeah. to this campaign, and we're only in book four. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. I would say that EK is probably your best character, Skid. Yeah, thanks. Uh, EK is my favorite character I've ever played. My, yeah. bar, my barbarian. EK plays a bar 11th level barbarian yeah. named EK Mafune. EK Mafuna Olagundoye. It's an awesome. Awesome oh, character. I love him. He's played by the actor that plays Mr. Echo from Lost. Yeah, he's actually kind of my tribute to Mr. Echo from Lost. And uh, because I feel like uh, the character got short shrift on the show because they had prob problems with the actor and they never got to finish his storyline. So I wanted to kind of do that. He was my favorite too. Way. Yeah. All right, we're back here at Lothric Castle. So what we've been doing is dying to our Dragon Slayer armor, coming back to the bonfire, coming here and going straight. But I said maybe two Twitches ago that this left would eventually come into play. And now uh -huh. we're going to take this left. Uh -huh. First, I'm going to cast Tears of Denial because I don't want to lose my 14,000 souls. Tears uh, of denial. That right. saved you so much. There is a door here that eventually I'll be able to open. Cannot open it now. But instead, oh, something down there, and then a big badass Whoa. knight. He looks like uh, the Black Knight from Monty Python. Yeah. yeah. Holy Grail. Like, Tis but a scratch. Look at this guy. Something He's just standing there, guarding the entrance to the garden. See down there? There's the garden. It's all sorts of shit down there. Uh, Eldiril uh, E.K. is an invulnerable rager barbarian. Uh, and Death by Fire, we have oh, a barbarian. A uh, Joe has a druid slash samurai slash ninja. <laughs> and, That's a ridiculous guy. Uh, Matthew has a, a, a tenth level cleric with one level of ninja. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, and my brother-in-law had a halfling cleric uh, of, of, of Desna, who also was uh, in the travel and uh, luck domain oh, but he, he had to drop out because he also had a baby oh bad move dude oh there you go that guy oh that really... shield got him there you go <gasps> you could really i could feel it in the controller every time i hit that tower shield it was like Dum! yeah oh nice <laughs> this is one of the coolest inventions is the force feedback for the controllers Zzz. That's the one thing I do miss on playing on a PC. On a PC, yeah, I don't totally. get that force feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now, because I'm a dirty cheater, I know something about this elevator. But you always want to check on all elevators. Does it have a drop-off point? And I believe this one does. Right here. So the elevator keeps going. But Ralph has found a secret. What does this say? 
hidden path ahead? Liar. Liar. Uh, Death by Fire asks, are you always the DM? No. Uh, in fact, Joe runs Skid and I and a couple other of our buddies in a Wrath of the Righteous campaign, uh, which we play on Roll20. Mm -hmm. um, and Skid runs a Rune Lords campaign that Tom is in. Yep. yep. Um, and Troy will occasionally... Uh, sit in on that. Drunkenly. Drunkenly, Drunkenly sit in <laughs> and just grind everything to a halt. He'll come in, grind everything to a halt, and break one of my chairs. Yep. The, uh, <laughs> not because I'm heavy. <laughs> no, he's not a fat man, but he has, he has managed to break a chair almost every I'm, time. He's I'm yeah. pretty rambunctious. Yeah. All right, so I jumped off this hidden lift here, and what do you get? Estes Shard. That's uh, also awesome. Uh, okay, and then we're going to go over here. Now, if you were watching... Uh, ooh, what's ooh. this? Oh, hi, oh. Aramil200. Titanite Chunk! Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at the snake guy Whoa. in the distance. Oh, those. that is so creepy and weird. And Yeah, those oh. guys are tough. Is that, the, is that the same ones that was summoning illusions? Yes, exactly. Oh, I see you watch the Twitch talk. I do. Yeah, well, look who's a fan. <laughs> all right, now see all this smoke down here? It's toxicity. So oh. just stepping in it, watch the toxicity bar build up, see? Oh, that's not good, so I want to get back. So when that to... max is out, you start losing health? Is that how that works? Uh, yeah, you start losing rapidly. Oh, I thought there was a safe spot. There's uh -oh. no safe spot. I'm oh, toxic. Oh, no, you're toxic. I'm toxic. Oh, no. It's All like right, well. Britney Spears. See my health just going oh, so fast. I've got to stay on top of it, but I want to grab. Ooh, a ring of sacrifice. Ooh, that's good. I want to grab as much as I can. Uh, why story why uh, asks uh, how many different games are you involved in skid oh boy well uh, we're doing the Jade Region campaign I'm in Joe's Wrath of the Righteous campaign I'm running the Rune Lords campaign uh, we do Pathfinder Society games when we can't get enough people together that are in a regular group um, and I think that's it right I think so yeah. I think that's it. Oh, we just finished like... uh, Castle of Thieves that Joe was running, uh, which is the first a time I've ever finished a Paizo Adventure path. It felt amazing. You guys played that for a long time. Yeah, we Council played that for three years. Oh, oh my it. god! It's it's what even is this thing? I call it a horrific snake monster. That is. Looks accurate. like it's uh, got graboids for arms. He does not like yeah. fire, though, as you can see. No. Little fire, Scarecrow! Oh, he's gonna be one hit from death. I really don't want to waste another... I'm just gonna charge. Stab him. Oh! Whoa. I killed him, but he did. He took a number on you. He's See? still toxic, and I don't have anything that can cure it. What I need to... Your, uh... Uh... Oh, so you'll constantly lose... Oh, that stinks. Yeah. This... A... So you have to wait for the bar to go down before you stop being toxic? Yeah, but look It'll, how slow the bar goes slowly down. Ticks down yeah. You basically need to have these purple moss clumps, I think they're called. Or, uh, this would be a good time for Ralph to equip a spell that allows him to buff against disease. But I, I think it would be better for the audience if we just sat here and waited patiently, quietly, while the bar descended. That makes for good twitch, right? <laughs> it really is. I think so. I I'm just going to see that. In the meantime, I'm just going to kill these slug people and try and get items. Just don't let me die, guys. Don't let me die. Don't die. Oh, I just found a mandible claw. I just found basically a claw that would act like a Wolverine claw. AJ oh, Ajax sweet. Mailman just uh, wanted to pop in and say hello for a second. Uh, we'll watch the VOD later. Uh, and hashtag play smart. Now, is VOD short for video on demand? Yes. Nice. I would think so. So is that... Like, he basically the replay. Like after On Twitch the, or yeah. when we upload it to YouTube? You, I, think you can, I think you can watch it on Twitch or at, on the YouTube. Oh, okay. I just got a uh, new armor set called the Shadow Set. Ooh. That's more of a ninja-esque thing, I think. That's not Ralph's jam. All right, this is good. This is what I want to do. Once I'm toxic, I'm like, fuck it. I'll just keep healing, try and get as many items as possible, and kill these guys while I'm at it. Yeah. But I'm running out of Estus. Man, that completely missed. Estus, keep over. Uh, how many shards does it take to make a new flask? Uh, one. one. Just one? Yeah, so every shard you get, just like Undead Bone Shards, there's 11 of them in the Ooh. game. Uh-huh. Oh, he's got some decent reach. Oh, wow. And every one you get of those... Man, that's Did I kill him? Is it dead? Yeah, he's yeah, dead. There you go. There's another Man. one. Of them. <laughs> those are some really violent death throws. Yeah, so every Estus shard you get allows you to allot another Estus, either for health or for magic. Um, 
and there's 11 of those just like there are bone shards. All right, so there's one more of those guys. I am losing health rapidly and down to my last couple Estus. <laughs> Lucid 108. Well, I'm glad Troy finally admits he is toxic. <laughs> Damn it, Lucid. <laughs> <laughs> Fundamentally doomed. Glad to see you guys finally invited. Skid. I wasn't invited. I'm still here, though. Uh, Ice Pick Trotsky. Seriously, is there any reason you can't cast the game on Twitch? That would... We we could do it, but... It's... It is so exhausting, like, uh, playing a game for an audience. <laughs> that, uh. like, one of the things we like about Jade Region and other games is that we can just relax and not worry about, you know, uh, how it's playing. We can just, like have fun with it right that's another reason i was really excited for this six hour session today because i don't have to record anything yeah yeah i can use all the foul language i want yes <laughs> boy does troy use a lot of foul language. Oh, yeah. <laughs> i let the expletives fly You're probably thinking like well you guys curse a lot on the show it's like you have no fucking idea oh shit i almost died uh all right there's an elevator here i think this is going to lead to a shortcut let's take this what now let's see if this has a drop off too oh i think i saw one that, yep. no that nose is just Getting all the ladies. Ralph's nose. He's a handsome. Oh, yeah. He has Ralph's very. Nose. He has delicate features and high cheekbones. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna die. All right. Remember when I walked in? I said that there's a door to my right. I'll open that up later. Yeah. This is the shortcut. Oh. This level is not very huge. I'm, I'm I'm doing this while we're while we're goofing off here. But honestly, uh, the boss isn't very far away. Um, he's just protected by. Remember that gi giant knight I said looked like the black knight from. Yeah. He's protected yeah. by two of those that wield great swords that are bigger than Ralph. And they are oh. so hard. Oh, and if wow. you aggro one and aggro the other one, you might as well just oh. quit oh, boy. and save. But if oh, I can open boy. this shortcut, that'll help. Problem is I have no Estus left. So let's see if I have a consumable to uh, Divine Blessing, fully restores. Oh, cures ailments. That would have been nice when I was toxic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Ralph. All right, I'm going to use it. Uh, just show item info. No, I just want to use it. Can I just use it? Or I could use an amber. No, fuck that. Boom. All right. There's a couple, uh, couple of guys in here we're gonna have to fight, and then we can open the shortcut. Assassins. Oh, there you go. How many shortcuts? How many shortcuts are in this, uh, this level? Is there a lot, or is there just like one? In this area? level, yeah. it's just this one, because this will take me right back to the bonfire. But as you can see, Ooh. remember these guys from oh, I remember uh, the Undead guys. Settlement? Yeah. See, two hits, and they're dead. They're not super hard. They have a hat like uh, uh, Donald from uh, Fat Albert. Yes, was it Donald or Mushmouth? No, Mushmouth had the he had a stocking cap. Yeah. Donald had the. Uh... All right, we fought two assassins. I feel like there's a third. There he is. This little there he scumbag. Is. Up yours, Donald. All right, I still can't heal, and there are two priests up here. Do I have any? I have no magic. Do I? I've got nothing. That toxicity, that's what that, it took all ten of my Estes. All right, I can beat these guys. Oh, wow, look at those things. Yeah, these guys aren't super tough. Have a good one, on enjoy, enjoy your studying. Oh, good, good luck on your exams. exams. The, Thanks uh, for watching. Hope yeah. there's a question about uh, faith-based characters. <laughs> Another chunk. <laughs> Open the shortcut. There we go. Boom awesome. sauce. Ooh, it was a latched door. Oh, cool. Okay. You don't see that too often. All right. Well, am I still embered? I am still embered. All right. Nice. Uh, great. So I never have to fight that knight again. Now I can go back to the bonfire, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to come through here, backtrack to that elevator, roll off midway. There's some cool treasure there. Fight a couple more of those knights, and then go fight the boss. Cool. But I think this has been a very productive Twitch, guys. I think so. I agree. This was very fun. Skid, thank you for coming. I, I, I'm glad that you could make it. I am too. I know I'll never be invited back. That's just not true. Well... We'll it's see. just not true. You're going to hear from us. Now, I'm going away for a couple days, guys, so you definitely won't hear from Skid this week because we're not going to be twitching on our normal night of Wednesday. But we'll try to sneak in a Thursday or Friday, and Skid, I promise you, whenever we're twitching, we're going to invite you. Please do. And uh, I'll make somebody bring an extra mic to make sure it sounds perfect. Awesome. Tom, thank hey. you for being the inaugural listener slash friend. Thank you very much for having me. To join the Twitch. It's been fun. You can follow him at Dr. K. Lighter <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash uh, Darklighter. He does. -R -R he's, doing a, uh, he's doing an Overwatch. Yeah, uh, I'm playing a lot of Overwatch that. recently. Yeah. And, uh, you can watch me curse very loudly and, <laughs> and not, break, break my headphones. And not speak very much other than that. Isn't that what gaming's all about? <laughs> Guys, thanks for joining us. Happy Father's Day Happy to you Father's fathers Day, out there. Everybody, thanks for joining us. Say goodbye, Ralph. Bye, Ralph. Bye. Bye, Ralph.